Laparoscopic Intracorporeal Suturing, Fundamentals with Tips and Tricks for New Learners. Outline. First, we will begin with an introduction. Then we will discuss needle anatomy. Then we will demonstrate a variety of needle skill sets, including two methods to intracorporeal knotty. And finally, we will end with some tips and tricks, as well as key points to remember. Laparoscopic intracorporeal suturing is the act of tying knots within a cavity using laparoscopic instruments. This is a challenging skill to learn, but once mastered, most other laparoscopic tasks will come with ease. Needle Anatomy Throughout this presentation, we will be using a CT1 needle connected to 15 centimeters of O bicroll. Each needle has a tip and a hub. We will further divide the needle into three points. A will be the point on the suture approximately 2 cm from the hub. This will be our first grasping point. B will be a point one third from the tip of the needle. This will be our second grasping point. Lastly, point C, a point one third from the hub, will be where our needle driver grasps. Needle Entrance First, grasp the suture at point A, about 2 cm from the needle hub. Then, if you're working with a 10-12 port, you can directly insert the CT1 needle into the abdomen. When working with a 5mm port, you won't be able to directly insert the CT1 needle into the abdomen. You will need to first insert the instrument through the trocar, then grasp the suture and guide the needle into the abdomen. This is called backloading the needle. Needle handling. Once the needle is within the box trainer, maintain the right grasper at point A and loosely grasp the needle with your left instrument at point B. While stabilizing your left instrument, with your right instrument gently moved in a to and fro manner to swivel the needle. With practice, you will be able to move the needle in every direction freely. Needle Loading Swivel the needle such that the light evenly reflects off point C. Then, using the needle driver, grasp the needle firmly at point C. Release the needle from your left instrument and do a couple practice throws to ensure the needle was loaded approximately 90 degrees to the driver. Throwing a stitch. Once your needle is loaded, pronate your needle driving hand such that you enter the tissue at a 70 degree angle. Use the curve of the needle in addition to counter-traction by your other instrument to guide you through the tissue. Knot Tying This video will demonstrate two intracorporeal suturing techniques. The first one is the drop needle technique. The setup is key. First, create a long elongated U with the suture. By creating this elongated U, we are decreasing our instrument to suture angle a key feature to intracorporeal suturing. Once the acute angle is created, place your left instrument inside the U and simply twist the suture twice around your instrument to create a surgeon's knot. Then grasp the loose end with your left instrument while pulling upward while your right instrument pulls downward. Once the knot has been secured, create a second elongated U. In order to tie in a square fashion, Place your left instrument outside of the U. Then twist the stitch to wrap around your left instrument. Grasp the loose end with your left instrument and again cinch down the knot. On this last throw, the elongated U is again created and the instrument is placed inside the U. But due to this large instrument to suture angle, the loop slipped. Efforts must be made to minimize the instrument to suture angle in order to tie with ease. Next technique I will discuss is the hold needle technique. This technique may be beneficial with shorter sutures. In contrast to the drop needle technique, here the needle is constantly held. The key principle is to rotate the needle to line with the suture and to again minimize the instrument to suture angle. By creating this almost parallel angle and utilizing the sturdiness of the needle, wrapping your suture around your left instrument becomes virtually effortless. Remember to alternate your throws by placing your left instrument on opposite sides of the suture. 
And again, always rotate the needle to line up with the suture to minimize the instrument to suture angle. Tips and tricks and key points. After loading your needle, always practice throw to ensure that the needle is loaded approximately 90 degrees to the driver. By creating an elongated U instead of a shortened U, you will not struggle with a lack of suture to wrap around your left instrument, and you will be able to avoid a large instrument to suture angle. This is especially important when utilizing ipsilateral port sites that cause decreased instrument to instrument angles. And as shown, by creating an elongated U, we have effectively minimized our instrument to suture angle. For the hold needle technique, always remember to rotate the needle to line up with the suture, and orientate it such that the instrument suture angle is minimized. As shown, a large instrument to suture angle makes for throwing a knot to be very challenging. Touching tissue will help you overcome the two-dimensional display in a three-dimensional environment. And lastly, Moving the two instruments as a unit will make your actions more directed and efficient.